Okay, welcome back. So you're excited because you've got the basics of a dice program. You can click the dude, you get a number, he tells you what it is. Now that's that's basic and the logic is cool, but the visuals are lame because we're, we're not showing that on this dice. So here's what I'm going to tell you to do. We're going to make this more animated. So what I want you to do is click on uh, the dice so you can get into his brain. Now he's got some stuff in his brain. When the game starts, he switches to costume one, he points in a certain direction, and he goes to a certain spot boring. Now, he's waiting to receive a secret message called roll dice. Um, no one's ever given him that message, but that's all right. He plays a little sound and he waits. That's all that happens right now. Now, here's what I'm going to say. You're in the brain of this dice. Click on the costumes for me. Take a look at this. This is shocking, but he has one, two, three, four, five, six costumes. Who would have thought? Now, I'm going to go back to his brain, his scripts. What can happen? Let's take a look at this. In your looks, um, which is your purple tab, you'll notice that you've got this switch costume. You've used that before. Now what I'm going to tell you is you can actually use a number to pick a costume, which is kind of weird. So um, I'm going to put this. But this says always make him show a six, right? So that's going to be not so cool because when I click him, he's always going to show a six. That's not what I want, right? Oh, well, I actually doesn't do anything yet. I lied. Uh, but that's not what I want. What I'm going to say is I want to use, now this is why you had this awesome variable. You remembered the number that you got. That's the number of the costume you want to go to. So you can hit your data and you can say take this. So go with me. Orange is data. Grab that number. Boom. And that's the costume that you uh, want to switch to. You want to switch to a costume that ma that is the same number in the sequence as what's in that cup right there, whatever that is. Now, unfortunately, nothing's happening because he's waiting to receive roll dice. Nobody told him to roll dice. So what you need to do is you're going to go over to old Giga, whatever his name is. I want to go to my events. Now do this with me. Pause me if you need to. And I want to broadcast when this sprite is clicked, he sets the number, he says some stuff, and then he broadcast roll dice. Now this die will hear that broadcast and switch his costume. So now what you've got, when I click him, you get a little more visual. I rolled a five, he says you rolled a five, you get a five. Now, um, Gorgeous. I don't like my timing here. Let's go back to Giga. Sorry. Let's broadcast it before you say it. Because that say is, is slowing you down. So let's try again. Now, when I run it, I click him. Boom. Nice. So look, this random number gets stored in a cup. I use that number to decide what to show on the die visually. And it's gorgeous. That die sound is really annoying. Um, I'm going to take it out because I'm really tired of it. Now, so, you roll a 2, you roll a 5, you roll a 3. That's so beautiful. Okay, now, here's what we're going to do to finish this video up. In this dice, um, it's nice that he switches to the right costume. It's so gorgeous. But it's not very animated. So, here's what I would like for you to do. I want this right here this switch costume to that number to be the very last thing you do. And then before you get to there, I would like it to look like you're rolling. Now, um, so here's what I'm going to say. You can over and over and over again, and you get to decide how many times until you think it's pretty, right? You can switch your costume to something random over and over and over and over and over again you do it a couple you know like five times ten times twenty times whatever you think when it's done and then when it's done you hit the costume that you're supposed to have so you so this will have some randomness and you're going to just keep switching your costume you're going to be running through a whole bunch of different costumes and the, or you could actually run through them in order if you thought that would be better you could use this one instead so eh, let's use some randomness so what i want here is instead of putting your variable, I want something random here, and I want you to repeat it over and over and over again. Now, 
if you're feeling super fancy, you could also do some randomness with your direction. Um, so it makes it look like he's kind of rolling, which would be pretty cool too. So let me show you what your end result should look like and I'll let you program it. Okay, so when you're done, what you want to have is you're going to click him. Now he got a little psychic, but note that, look at that dice now. So that dice over and over and over again, all he's doing is switching what's, what costume he's on to something random, switching to a random costume, and, and I have him pointing in a random direction too, so it looks like he's rolling. Now think about this, directions are between 0 and 360, but you only have six face on your dice or six costumes. So I really just have him doing two things, over and over and over again, picking a random costume, picking a random direction. Then when he's done, after you've done it, I think I did mine 20 times. Then I said, now set his set his costume to be whatever's in that number, which is what you had before. And I, I made sure that he was facing 90 degrees, so he looks like he's sitting straight up. So basically, I've just got two pieces of randomness that are repeating. I think I repeated mine 20 times. Don't worry about the fact he's a little psychic, because really, all this, this rolling is just for show, because you already decided that he wanted to land on a five. You just spiced it up a little bit. So, I'm going to let you program that up. I want, once you get that um, beautifulness, then you are ready for the next video, and we'll add some more stuff. Good luck.